question. When you know what hits the, will you be ready to go at a moment's notice? For instance, if you have to suddenly evacuate because of a flash flood, don't ask me why that comes to mind here in Florida at the moment. Oh gosh. All right, we're not even gonna go there. But, you know, or like if you are driving down the road and have a medical emergency on your way to a destination and end up in the hospital instead. Again, not a random scenario I just pulled out of the sky. <laughs> you get the drift. If you end up needing something at a moment's notice that can get you through a couple of days, just the bare necessities, what you need to just grab and go without having to take the time to do it in the moment during the emergency, if that's even an option. So let's talk about it. I just bought something off of Amazon today and it is officially my new a bug out bag. <laughs> yes, I know it's pastel pink. Yes, I know it's just a backpack, but it's also a little carry-on storage bag basically and it's very practical and it's all I need for a few days worth of living if there's an emergency. If you are new here, I'm Heather and this is my channel, Heather's Hikes and Adventures. Typically I talk about all things van life, car camping, solo travel, but I think this ties in nicely because I think we all need an emergency bag. Even when I am on the road traveling by myself and planning on sleeping in my minivan, I know that something could knock on wood happen there could be a breakdown where maybe my van has to go to the shop temporarily and I'm going to be stuck at a hotel or, you know, have to crash at someone's place. I'm still going to need a bag with just the necessities to take and I don't want to have to deal with that, you know, digging around in my van again in the heat of the moment. So from now on, this baby is always going to be with me when I leave in case I end up back at the hospital. You know, who knows what could happen, stranded somewhere. I will be ready. Again, this is not sponsored. I just thought that this was really cute, practical, and it was a really great lightning deal. So I will leave the link below, but let's see how much I can load this baby up because I am getting ready to leave the house today, running very late, still have to shower, get dressed, pack, <laughs> and I'm leaving here in two hours to go spend a few days out of town at Mayo Clinic again. Well, more specifically at a hotel to have testing at Mayo Clinic again. And I'm not looking forward to it, but I am looking forward to packing this baby up. So let's go. All right, so let's take a closer look at the bag first. We've got this pouch here in the front that is real deep. It goes the whole length, not up, just down. And then not only does this zip all the way open, but it has these little snap closures. <clears throat> and then on the inside, it actually has this built-in charging cord that you can hook up to one of those little external battery banks. And then you can just plug your phone in here to charge. got these little luggage straps and you can see it's got these little side a uh, little side pocket here and it's really deep you can see and then on this side it's waterproof and you have a packet or a, a pocket here and then a mesh pocket here so normally I would put my emergency toiletries in here, but I actually have my shower bag that I bring car camping all the time already packed. So I'm just gonna use that and just put a couple extra things in here probably. All right, now let's take a look at what I'm gonna be packing. All right, so you can see we have quite a bit of stuff. I've got a couple of outfits and a sweatshirt some snacks, even though I won't be allowed to eat this time that I'm packing for. We're not going to go into that right now, though. Ugh. And then I've got some electrolytes to add to my water, 
a pulse oximeter to make sure my oxygen levels are okay, deodorant, hand sanitizing wipes, uh, lip balm, my stones, headphones, uh, charging cord and bank or uh, block. I have a spare disposable mask and vomit bag just in case the internet goes out or my, the Wi-Fi is not working for my phone. I can use this as a backup. And then just my journals, my word search, pens, medical records, my medications, some books, and then just my bonnet, some undergarments, a handkerchief, and sunglasses, and my laptop. And let's see how this all fits in my backpack, or if it all does. <laughs> Wish me luck. Let's go. I also really like the padding on here so that it's super comfortable. And then you've got this so that you can attach it to your carry-on luggage if you're using it for an airplane. All right, let's get this baby loaded up. There's a little front zipper thing on here that I really like um, that also has a separate compartment aside from the main luggage part. This is for your laptop, uh, tablets, nice and lined and waterproof, lots of pouches, this zips. Very handy. Alright friends, there you have it. Nice, short, simple, sweet video. I just wanted you to come pack with me for a few days at Mayo Clinic and I figured this was the perfect opportunity to discuss being prepared and ready with a go bag at any time. It's about how I would pack this for any kind of emergency needing to get away for a couple of days. So I'll keep it pretty much just like this when I get back. Obviously, I'll clean the clothes and switch those out, but you get it. <laughs> so I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe it made you think of something that you might need to have with you at all times, or maybe having a go bag like this for when you know what hits the you know what. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, friends.